Hey guys, my name is Jess. I'm Dan. And it's the start of the working week and also the start of us telling you what's going on in gaming. So be sure to stay tuned for the next two to three minutes and we'll get you caught up. For those of you looking forward to the Call of Duty World War II beta later this month, Sledgehammer Games have released info on what you can expect. The beta, which runs from August 25 to 28th on PS4, and then from September 1st to 4th on PS4 and Xbox One, will include at least three maps. The three maps confirmed to be included are Point Duo, Ardennes, and Gibraltar, on which you'll be able to test out Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint, and the new War game types. War casts you as either the Allies or the Axis, as you battle across a scripted map with a bunch of different objectives. As part of the beta, you'll be able to take part in Operation Breakout, which is described as the first war mode experience. You'll also get to try your hand at Divisions, World War II's new customization system that lets you pick a specialist and build them up from the Infantry, Expeditionary, Airborne, Armoured and Mountain Divisions. If all of that sounds like something you're interested in checking out, you can get into the private beta by pre-ordering. For taking part, you'll also get a helmet, emblem and calling card for the full game when it's released on November 7. Let us know what you think about this one below and if you'll be taking part so we can all try and play together. Hey Dan, do you want to do an intro to this story that uh, is very long and convoluted and doesn't really have anything to do with it, but maybe it'll make them laugh? Sure! Okay, uh, how many times have you seen the Last Jedi trailer? None, I don't watch our Star Wars trailers because I try to keep away from them. It's like a long-term goal for me to go into movies blind which is something that Star Wars Battlefront 1 lacked, according to the developers. Here's a story. In a roundtable video released by PlayStation, DICE producer Craig McLeod discussed the issues with the first game and the common feedback they received from fans, saying, A lot of people found that with the original Battlefront, after a few months of play, they lacked the long-term goals. So these are the things that we're really trying to make sure we nail in this new game. One of the big additions this time around is a single player campaign that follows a member of the Empire's elite Inferno squad, Aiden Verso. DICE have also expanded the scope of Battlefront 2 to include all eras of Star Wars, something that was sorely missing from the first game. Man, I just want to fly in a boost Starfighter, those things are cool looking. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will launch November 17 with a free open beta on all platforms beginning on October 6. You may remember that EA is bringing FIFA 18 to Nintendo Switch, but it sounds like they may not be stopping there. That's right, if you want to be disappointed by Mass Effect Andromeda all over again, maybe this time on the train, you might be able to do so. Worldwide Studios VP Patrick Soderlund told Edge Magazine, I'm a gigantic Nintendo fanboy, adding that he brings his Switch everywhere. He explained, We will appear on any platform where there are consumers and players. We believe that we want to be a part of the Switch and help Nintendo grow that install base. That's why you'll see FIFA. It's a full-fledged FIFA game for the first time, to be honest, on a portable device. Soderlund added that the company may bring other games to Switch, and if those are successful, more could come later. It's worth noting that FIFA 18 on Switch doesn't run on the Frostbite engine, and it won't include the game's The Journey campaign mode, but it's still FIFA. That is everything we've got for you today. Thanks so much for joining us, and do remember to leave your thoughts on today's stories down in that comment section. Dan, you want to leave them with any pearls of wisdom? Uh, don't brush your teeth before you drink some orange juice. That's a good one. That's a good one. How many times have you seen uh, The Last Jedi trailer? Zero. I don't watch uh, mainline Star Wars trailers. I have this really weird rule where I don't watch any of them. And last year when I... Let me start over. I've completely forgotten the story that I'm supposed to be telling you off the cuff. <laughs> <laughs>